Every day they can see these uh, titles about the war, that uh, this amount of people were killed or whatever. But uh, this title, they can, can't work with your heart or your soul and you can't feel the personal experience because it's different when you just read this abstract news and uh, when you hear the personal story, uh, you will feel the situation from different side. For many artists, and not only for artists, uh, I would say for all Ukrainians, it was a huge shock uh, to experience uh, this full-scale invasion, because as you know, we have uh, this war with Russia for a long time, until 2014, but this full-scale invasion, it was like shock for the whole country. And uh, for uh, many artists, it was uh, very, very uh, difficult to uh, to start create art again because uh, we just uh, dived into very complicated feelings uh, cruel events and uh, and so on so uh, uh, some of them just uh, like for months just stopped their art activities and uh, for another artist it was a huge inspiration and from the first uh, day they just created art of course about about war about this full-scale invasion about this uh, cruel event and about a uh, horrible country that called Russia so uh, and but for this project uh, for the artists uh, it was uh, in this exhibition how did they get to the bomb shelter for them it was the first uh, big project uh, after this full-scale invasion so it's like the very very fresh impression about war so you can feel it and because now it looks uh, a bit different a lot of artists continue their uh, art activity in Ukraine uh, but they have a lot of projects now in Europe and in the whole world but um, and the uh, the current topic of course it's a uh, bar war time and uh, but now we just a bit used to it but it's very important to show and to feel this first impression and in this exhibition you have chance to feel it but even now it's very important to talk about it and it's a uh, mission for the artist and for art also now uh, to talk about different sides for example eco side now that uh, Russia continue in our country now and uh, this uh, kidnapping people or uh, it's a lot of a lot of problems and I think it's very important to talk with the international community about this because they are so far and they live their best life or a good life and uh, but it's very hard to understand what we feel and how it's horrible and uh, why it's uh, important to talk about it because uh, if you experienced how awful it can be how cruel it can be uh, you will try to do your best to not repeat it uh, at all and uh, we have this uh, mass media now internet and a lot of options uh, to show this experience and uh, I think we need to use it and for art it's uh, very very important because it's it talked to your heart so it's used to use this From the very beginning, uh, this uh, I I had this uh, idea of the exhibition from the first days of war as curator, and uh, I had this opportunity uh, in uh, Nordic House in Iceland. Uh, I applied for artist at risk program, and uh, they connect me with Nordic House. So uh, I came to Iceland and uh, uh, I worked on this residency, and then I decided to develop my idea with exhibition. And my main goal. Uh, uh, in this project was to show uh, this uh, very first impression, uh, this feeling and this contrast between your peaceful life and this uh, military reality. You already noticed the name of this project, how did I get to the bomb shelter? So it's the question and for many people because it's a shock to be in the bomb shelter in 21st century, it's uh, it's ridiculous, right? And, uh, and I, I never saw that I will be there. So uh, I developed this idea and uh, I decided to show uh, this uh, experience, uh, this contrast between uh, peaceful life and war time, just to uh, dive viewer into this atmosphere of these cruel uh, emotions and uh, and uh, like very complicated situation where you can be. But also, I wanted to show that the, this war and like in general war time, it's not only about cruelty. It's about uh, about love sometimes about 
uh, kindness because when you are in this uh, hard situation uh, you you know what's important in this life and i developed this idea uh, of the bomb shelter to show in this project not only like a uh, bomb shelter in negative sense to show the bomb shelter in positive sense because when you live in this uh, situation in a military reality you need to have like some kind of bomb shelter not only physical but mentally in this project i wanted to show uh, this uh, complicated feelings in one space so and for this project I decided to invite my uh, one of my favorite artists in Ukraine and uh, I was uh, very lucky to work with them uh, it was a pleasure and uh, thanks to their projects we can see the whole picture uh, of this uh, reality like not the wall but almost the whole picture how it can be how in the same time you can feel uh, this love this uh, very positive wave and uh, but you are in the dangerous situation and uh, you can see the missiles through your window so and here we have uh, seven artists and it's different sides of this war and uh, for the viewer it's a chance to just dive into this situation and to walk from this uh, premonition starter point premonition before this full-scale invasion and then you dive into this uh, military reality, this full-scale invasion events, and then uh, in the end you will feel some kind of relief, I would say, and uh, we can uh, we can call it hope or future or uh, just a present. But uh, for me, it was very important to finish the exhibition with the project that will give you uh, some kind of hope. I mentioned before that we have in this exhibition the, uh, some kind of storyline. So you start from the first part where is the premonition uh, of the war. And uh, we start with the Yaroslav Kostenko work, Ashes of War. And uh, this project, it's like the general metaphor of the war. So uh, you will feel it when you will see it. And uh, of course, it's the it's the question for us, you can understand that ashes it's something that uh, burned and uh, we have this, uh, just this ashes in the air and it's like the metaphor of the war in general, it can burn you and we have this black ground around and ashes and what, how, how we can use this possibility, we will leave it like this or uh, we will use this opportunity to build a battle world. The second project it's uh, Alana Subac project we no longer feel the future and uh, it's a story uh, it pro this project consists of two parts and the first part it's the premonition of the war uh, it's very aesthetic but at the same time you can feel that something wrong there and uh, the second part it's the what we have now and what stories and uh, what reality we have now in present and uh, we just move to the middle part and in this part it's the already this full-scale invasion this military reality and here uh, you will experience different side like different problems problems i would say uh, it can be uh, the trauma that the youngest generation will feel and you can see this idea in the project of kinder album uh, which uh, also um, combinate with the sound of air alarms by children voices and it's very powerful and uh, it's actually a military joke uh, of kids uh, they just imitate the sound of uh, air alarms to scare adults so uh, you can understand what kind of humor now we have with youngest generation but it also describes how they work with their uh, trauma and how they just get turn it to a better way to a positive way next uh, project it's it describes i would say the reality that we have in ukraine now and uh, actually it's the uh, missile attacks that we have almost every day every week or every month it's always with us and it describes uh, the mindset of russian soldiers who just uh, come to our country to uh, to rape, to kill, to destroy peaceful country. And it's an artwork by Sergei Petluk. It's called And Who Allowed You to Live Beautifully. It's an interesting story of this name and why it's this name. And on the screen you can see uh, the 
Russian language on these screens. But uh, I would just want to keep it in secret and uh, you're very welcome to visit and to read and to see this uh, installation. And uh, also uh, we have even LGBTQ community uh, problems in Ukraine now, especially in the military reality. And it's a photo project by Maxim Finugiev. And uh, it's like silent uh, portraits of a man in Ukraine who are just um, representatives of uh, this LGBTQ community in Ukraine. And uh, uh, especially before war and uh, especially now and before war, it was a problem for us. It's a problematic topic for us. And uh, uh, but I think if we want to uh, move to European Union to build a better country and to develop democracy, it's very important for our government, government and for our people to work with this topic. Another uh, unexpected uh, part of this uh, side of this uh, of this war, uh, it's a mini documentary by art group Sweeter, and uh, it's called Juliet Queen of Podil. And it's uh, uh, actually the story about street dog uh, who uh, used to live uh, in the Podil. It's a historical part in, of Kiev in downtown. And uh, she was like a favorite dog of this whole part of Kiev. And uh, but in the first days of war, she disappeared. And in this documentary, they will try to find her through the interviews with people who knew her and uh, their memories and also the experience of this uh, full scale invasion in first week and months. It's in the same time, it's funny, uh, it's warm, but uh, it's very sad and complicated. And it describes very well our feelings in the first uh, in the first months, I would say. Last project, it's called uh, Potato Free by Mihailo Barabash. It's a very interesting project where you have a chance to see one of the symbols of military reality in Ukraine. It's a concrete block like checkpoint that we have bet uh, between different cities in the border of cities. And on the top you have a chance to see Ukrainian potato that grows. It's real Ukrainian potato that grows. It started to grow in Iceland actually and it grows still here. And uh, also it's not only this, uh, it's a series of graphics and the uh, video of the artist where he will cook potato, but it's a very, very strong project and you will feel it when you will see it in uh, real life in the space. And uh, it's about our poverty and it's about uh, actually uh, our possibility to survive no matter what happened. Because uh, the potato, it's a very universal uh, symbol and it can be, it, it exists in the culture of any country. And uh, for example, in Iceland, it's very big culture of potato and in Ukraine also, you can imagine. And uh, no matter what happened, if it's missile attacks or whatever, you will cook potato. My goal here was to, to dive viewer in the, this personal experience of this war. So you will feel that you are uh, talking with this artist and they share their emotions with you. So yes, you are very welcome to this exhibition in Red Core Center. <laughs>